In this video, I'm going to show you how to make awesome medieval minifigures for your LEGO Castle world. My first tip is to use bright colors. LEGO has lots of bright minifigure pieces, and that means lots of opportunities. You can make loads of brightly colored minifigures that look great in your medieval world. For example, this King minifigure from series 13 is really colorful, but looks great. I also made a daughter for him with bright red and blue legs and torso and this bright yellow cloak. These colors may not be accurate to medieval times, but since you can do whatever you like with your LEGO, you may as well make the most of your colorful pieces. For your LEGO medieval world, you should also use modern parts. LEGO Castle has been around since the 70s, and many people feel nostalgic for it. But why use this small plain sword when you could use this long sword with lots of detail? Similarly, upgrade old minifigures that don't have much detail to make them suitable in your modern LEGO Castle world and look way better. Next, you should add fantasy creatures to your medieval world. In medieval times, lots of people believed in witches and ghosts, and LEGO is a great way of capturing this. Monsters fit really well into any medieval world and make it 10 times cooler and spookier. Another idea is to use parts from other themes. While a torso from Iron Man may not fit into your medieval world, this hat piece from the LEGO movie looks great on a Viking minifigure and really adds some extra detail. And if you're low on monster parts, try using some pieces from Ninjago or Star Wars to make some custom ones. Next, use yellow heads instead of realistic skin tones. While real flesh colors may be more accurate and look better, they're harder to get and more expensive. Most people have lots more yellow heads, and they're usually much more expressive, meaning you can make much more interesting minifigures. The next tip is to update official minifigures. LEGO minifigures look awesome, but you can often change them to make them look even better. For example, this bear knight looks awesome. But by giving him a sword, a cloak, and a different colored plume, he looks even cooler and like the leader of a bear army. If you want to make bigger LEGO armies, you should incorporate similar factions together. A LEGO medieval army looks awesome, but it's very expensive and hard to make. Fortunately, LEGO has made lots of similar factions, and by mixing multiple of these together, you can make an even bigger medieval army. And if two factions look weird together, they could always be on the same side, but just part of different units. My last idea is to make lots of different weapons. LEGO has made lots of different weapons, but you can also make lots of your own. You can use snot bricks and rod pieces to make this warhammer. And there are lots of different staffs you can make using brown pieces and gems. So that's some different ways to make awesome medieval minifigures. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite, and if you're going to use any of these in your own medieval world. Until next time, a peace